Welcome to today's video. My name is DB and this is Challenge with 98 on the American servers. Today we have a Crusader build using the Invoker set. So let's just jump in. Okay, so this week, guys, we have a Crusader build, and it is the Thorns of Invoker set. So you get this full six-piece bonus, so your Thorns damage now hits all enemies in a 15-yard radius around you. Each time you hit an enemy, you with punish, slash, or block, an attack with your Thorns is increased by 350% for two seconds. Bonus number two, you take 50% less damage for 20 seconds after damaging an enemy with Bombardment. That's a skill we don't have, so it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, the final one is attack speed of punish and slash are increased by 50% and deal 15,000% of your thorns damage to hit the first enemy hit. Okay, so we have thorns is equal to 295% of your life. Awesome. Uh, okay, punish has got every rune. Accurate champion gains the effects of profit and embodiment of power. I think Accurate champion, yep, so Accurate champion's already got profit, so could have changed the rune there. In the rings, we've not got anything of substantial. This just adds another 36,000 uh, thorns damage and regenerates life. Okay, there's actually nothing in the cube this week. Uh, your main skills are going to be Punish and Akarat's Champion. So whenever Akarat uh, finishes, pop it again. Try and keep that up as long as you can. Uh, you're going to be using Punish as your main damage dealer. This one doesn't really actually do anything, Sweep Attack. So you might as well not use it. Concentration is all about heals, and so is Laws of Hope. And Steed Charge is just to get around the map. So the idea, the object is is to get from a elite to another elite as quickly as possible. Try not to kill the rabble, because it does take time, and you'll end up losing a mouse. Uh, well, you probably will lose a mouse at the end of this one. Um, so the time to beat is 5 minutes 55. So let's jump in and see what's going on. So with this build, you're going to be hitting quite a lot you walk straight into an elite and you two pop it done let's get through these you don't want to be messing around with all the rabble you want to try and jump straight into getting to elites as quickly as possible because this is very much a hack and slash uh style build so going around one pop and everything's not going to help you there's another elite get a shield pylon get to the elite pop it Pick up some runes. Yeah, you don't want to be messing around with one shot in. You'll uh, end up losing a mouse, I think. Uh, if you try to one shot everything, it's not going to work out well for you. Just try and get through as quick as you can to get to the next elite. Lovely, we've got another one already. Popped it. Job done. Ah, try to get through. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad a build, actually. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So we have two elites on this floor, if you're doing a simple run through. Uh, we just jump straight down. Remember to try and use that as much as you can, the steed, because one, it regenerates your life, and two, it allows you to move around the map a little bit quicker. Well, I say a little bit, I mean a lot. It's, it's a fair old whack. Another elite. Great. Pop it. Don't forget to get them. See, I haven't even popped Akarat's champion yet. Uh, probably could do with popping. Yeah, let's pop that. See what happens. Yes, there's no definite damage done there. Conjure a pile on halfway through. Another elite. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. Went the wrong way. Not good. Lost some time there going the wrong way. Got a nice conduit anyway, just to kill off some extras. Make sure I keep that time well above. Another elite pack down here. Great. Again, you can one pop the elites, so it shouldn't really have any issue getting through elites. Um, it's mainly trying to get past all the, the rest, you know. That's where you're going to struggle the most. But if you can get through the rest with relative ease. Elite. So it's two elites on this. Well, three elites on this pack, wasn't it? Three elites. Again, I gotta keep saying it, guys, but just move through 
the rifts as quickly as you can looking for those elites because trying to fight all of these is just you're never going to get through them uh, we've got a channeling pylon so we could probably take out some of these and is there an elite around here somewhere i'm hoping there is yeah there's one there Not many elites around. It's pretty squishy, this build, too. Rift Guardian's in. Three pop him. That's it. Three pop on the Elite. That's not too bad. Give it four minutes 19. The time is five minutes 59. So on my first run, I did four minutes 55. But on my second attempt, I've managed to get maybe 30 seconds off that. 34 seconds. Yeah, it's a pretty straightforward build. Uh, remember, Punish is your main dealer. Do not try and fight off all the rabble. There's no explosive blast here that's doing anything. Uh, just try and get through as quickly as you can. My name is DB. This has been Challenge Rift 98 on the American servers. Thank you very much for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you again next week.